So you're thinking about moving to Brighton, Michigan, and you wanna know why so many people are moving here? Well, then this video is definitely for you. So stay tuned because we're getting after it right now. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you guys wanna know everything there is to know about living here in Brighton, Michigan, then consider subscribing and tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market right here in Brighton. What's happening, you guys? Eric Meldrum here, your go-to Brighton Realtor, and my team and I are making videos just like this on what it's like to live here in Brighton and all the surrounding areas. So if you're considering making a move, go ahead and get a hold of us. All my contact info is in the description below. Pop in there, grab the Zoom link, schedule a call, and as always, we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move here to Brighton or any of the surrounding areas. So why are so many people moving to Brighton, Michigan? Well, I got the answers for you. Number one, it's an awesome place to live. I live here, so that's pretty cool. But guys, before we get into that, if you are a longtime follower of this channel, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following along on our journey here as we showcase all the amazing spots here. But we do have some news for you. We are gonna be making some changes to the channel. Um, we are gonna be changing the name to Drum, drum, drum roll. I'll get my video editor to drum roll there. Changing the name to Living in Brighton, Michigan. Now, why the change? Well, my real estate career started in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I live in Brighton for the past seven years, and we've done a lot more things here in the community, putting down a lot more roots. Definitely, we still service Ann Arbor and all the surrounding areas, but we have some things in our business that are solely focused to the community here and we're bringing continuity to it. So stay tuned, we got a lot more coming out on that, but new channel name, Living in Brighton, Michigan. Stay tuned for all the deets. All right, so besides having me as an awesome neighbor, why the heck are so many people moving to Brighton, Michigan? I don't understand it. I mean, it's, it's an okay place to live. Actually, it's a great place to live. So before we can get into this, let's start with the city's slogan, which is Brighton, Michigan, where quality of life matters. Now, I think that sums it up right there with just quality of life. You know, this matters to it. And this is not just a city slogan to get people to move here. Trust me, there is people in the city, on the city government council that fight tooth and nail to make sure this is true every single day. Now, some people may take this to an extreme. And let me tell you right now, there is the old school Brighton and the new school Brighton that are coming to forces, I guess is the word I'm looking, looking for. You know, there is a lot of things going on. I won't bore you guys with this. I'm involved in a lot of the discussions on what's going on around town because we have such a big pull in the community with, with our group here. And if you guys aren't part of this group, definitely check it out. Um, it's Brighton, Michigan happenings right now as of watching this video, but we're gonna be changing it over to Living in Brighton, Michigan. And this is a Facebook group. Um, it's a private Facebook group, so not everybody can, can join. If you are considering moving here, you know, definitely send me a DM and say, hey, I want access to it. We can get you guys into the group. But this is a group of residents, about 28,000 people that live here. And we talk about local events. We talk about things going on around town. My team and I you know, are, are covering a lot of the major things going on, showcasing like we do here, which is why Brighton is such a great place to live. So we got short form content in there. We got long form content, we got it all. But one of the things that you know we ask all members before they can even get into the group is, what do you love about living in Brighton, Michigan? And by and large, 99% of the answers that I get are directly correlated to the quality of life or the community or the people that live here are so amazing. Okay? It's all positive. That may sound great, but like, is that really true? Is it really true that you know, you can walk down the street here in Brighton and be greeted with a smile or somebody open the door for you or you know, somebody that's willing to help change your tire? And the answer is yes. There is an amazing community that pull together to help one another in the time of need. And that's not just in the time of need, that's all the time, right? For city events, for you know uh, things that are going on. I mean, I can just recall on, on the top of my head, there is about three people that you know had house fires over the past couple of years. And this was not, you know, things from like, you know, other government officials or um, these nonprofits, that's what I'm looking for. These nonprofits that are coming in and helping them out. These folks got support from the community, clothes, utensils for their new house, you know, like, you, you know, just anything and everything that people could think of, the community pulled together. So 
that's a little bit of a story. I kind of went long winded on exactly, um, you know, why the community is so amazing here, but you know, I, I can't stress it enough. The community is, is fantastic. So a couple of the things that I mentioned, you know, we're, we're going to be coming out with more content in the group. So definitely join the Facebook group. It's in the description below as well. And if you guys are finding value in this content, you know, about covering Brighton and talking about all things Brighton and the surrounding areas, then go ahead and hit that like button and hit the subscribe. So you guys are the first to learn about the current market right here in Brighton. So some other reasons why Brighton is such a desirable place for most people moving, you know, from Metro Detroit to Brighton or from out of state is the location. Now it's centrally located on 23 and 96, you got highway access right there, but you can get to pretty much anywhere around Michigan um, within 30 minutes. So if you're going over to Lansing, it's about a 30 minute drive. If you're heading over to Metro Detroit area, you're anywhere from a 15 to a 30 minute drive. If you're going downtown Detroit, about 35, 40 minutes, you know, depending on traffic. But if you're heading down to Ann Arbor, I mean, you can get to the north end of Ann Arbor in 10 minutes or the south end within I don't know, 20, 20 minutes on a good day without traffic. So whether you're working here in Brighton or working in the surrounding areas, your commute is not that bad. I mean, 30 minutes anywhere. I mean, I remember when I was working in Troy, I was 35 minutes. I was working in Ann Arbor. It was 20 minutes. No big deal. I mean, you can get over to Plymouth. You can get over to Northville pretty quickly if you're working there as well. Another major reason why so many people are moving to Brighton is the low township taxes. Now, if you're living in the city of Brighton, that's not going to be the case. You're still going to have city taxes. You have your city water, your city sewer, but that's a very small fraction. We'll put that up on the map here so you guys can see. But for the most part, you have four major quadrants of, of Brighton. You have Brighton Township, you have Genoa Township over to the northwest, uh, and then you have Green Oak Township to the southeast, and then you have Hamburg Township to the southwest as well. So any of these townships are gonna allow you to basically get township tax as well. What does township taxes mean? If you live in, a, in an area that you're not familiar with townships, it's just a subset of um, the major city. So these townships have their own township office, they have their own ordinances, and pretty much anything you do is regulated by the township instead of the city. Now, a lot of townships here don't have major sewer or city water that are run into them. Most people are on septic or, or wells here. So you don't have those municipalities where you're paying taxes for you know the government to maintain all these areas. Where we live here in Green Oak Township, we still have a police department, we have a, a township office, we I mean we have a fire department, pretty much everything. And then Brighton has its own as well. So that all these municipalities work together, but the taxes, I can assure you, they're gonna be much lower. So if you have questions on the taxes, we'll be happy to sit down and show you the comparison from the city to the townships and what a cost savings that could be for you. All right, so lastly, and I think one of the biggest contributing factors to why the quality of life here in Brighton is so great is all the Metro parks and things to do around town. And that includes biking, hiking, canoeing, kayaking, you know, picnics, you know, playscapes, um, you name it. The metro parks around here have a lot of activities to choose from. So I think I can count on my hand of five metro parks that are in driving distance of 10 minutes from my house. And there's plenty more. So a couple that come to mind, you guys should check out the Howell Nature Center. That's amazing. The Brighton Recreation Center, we've talked about this before. They have Jump Island over there. Huge obstacle course in the middle of a lake. Take your family out there, have a blast. You got Island Recreation Area, has an amazing biking trail. So if you're into mountain biking and, and biking on trails, um, definitely check out that one. Just to the south of us here, um, we got the DTE course for biking as well. Um, that's an amazing one. So whatever your, your jam is for outdoor recreations, whether it's in the summer or winter, these recreation and metro parks have a lot to offer. And that's, again, one of the quality of life is you can get out in nature within driving distance. It's not like you're going from you know Metro Detroit and you gotta drive, like most people from Metro Detroit, drive out here to Kensington to just go sit in the park and get some fresh air. <laughs> so that's just an example of why so many people are moving out to Brighton. And if you guys are thinking about moving to Brighton, go ahead and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you're the first to learn about the current market right here in Brighton. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.